is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and we will be glad in it. To God be the glory. Father God, I thank you for it's in you do we trust. As your word says in Proverbs 3 and 5, the trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Lean not to our own understanding in all thy ways. We acknowledge you and you shall direct our path. Lord, I thank you today. For your eyes are on the sparrow. Father God, I know that you're watching out for us. So, Father God, I thank you today. But, Father God, your words in Psalms 37, 4 and 5. Delight yourself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit thy way unto him. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. Is there anything too hard for God? Father God, I thank you today that you are the Alpha and the Omega. You are the author and the finisher of our faith. Father God, I thank you today as your words is as we draw nigh to you, you'll draw nigh to us. Father God, I thank you today for your words as my eyes are on the sparrow. Huh. Interesting. Glory to God. How did that happen? Un momento, por favor. Lord, I thank you today for your words as my eyes are on the sparrow. Don't you know that I'm watching out for you? So, Father God, I thank you today that you are my strong tower. You are my rainmaker. You are my air giver. Father God, I thank you today that we walk by faith and not by sight. Father God, I thank you today that we will not be discouraged or dismayed by what we see. But Father God, we know that what we see is but a momentary light affliction and cannot be compared to the glory that shall be revealed in us. Lord, I thank you today. Father God, your words is to be of the faith of a mustard seed. We shall speak to our mountains and our mountains shall be removed. Father God, I thank you today for mountain moving faith, yoke destroying faith, blind eyes opening faith, lame legs straightening faith, mountain moving faith. Father God, I thank you today. And Father God, your word have we hid in our heart that we may not sin against you. Lord, I thank you today is your words in John 15 and 7. If you abide in me and my word abides in you, you shall ask what you desire and it shall be done for you. Father God, I thank you today is your words in Ephesians 3 and 20. Now unto him who is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all we may ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. Father God, I thank you today for the dunamis power, the dynamite power that abides and resides on the inside of us. Lord, you are my all in all. Lord, you are the great I am. Lord, you are what we need when we need it. So Father God, I thank you today for your words as those who thirst and hunger for righteousness shall be filled. As a deer pants for water, Father God, we pant for your presence. Oh, do we need thee. Father God, I thank you today is your words in Psalms 34 and 10. Those who seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. Father God, I thank you today. Father God, your word says in Matthew 6 and 33, to seek ye first the kingdom of God is righteousness and all else shall be added unto us. This day, Father God, we seek your way. We seek your, your will. Lord, I thank you today is your word says in Philippians 2, 5. Let this mind be in you that also was in Christ Jesus. Father God, I thank you today as your words in John 14 and 12. Greater works than these you shall do also. Father God, I thank you today. For Father God, your words in Hebrews 6 and 12. It's through faith and patience do we inherit the promises of God. Father God, I thank you today as your words in John 1 and 1. In the beginning was the word and the word is with God. The word was God and the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and his name was Jesus. Father God, I thank you today is your words in John 15 and 7. If you abide in me, and my word abides in you, you shall ask what you desire, and it shall be done for you. Is there anything too hard for God? Father God, I thank you today that you are my all in all. You are the great I am. You are what we need when we need it. So Father God, I thank you today that we run to you from whence our help comes, so we know that our help comes from the Lord. Father God, I thank you today that you are my standard bearer. Father God, God, I thank you today for Father God, your word says in Isaiah 26 and 3, 
a mind stayed on you shall be kept in perfect peace. Father God, I thank you today for the peace that surpasses all understanding. Father God, I thank you today that you guard my heart and you guard my mind. Father God, I thank you today as your word says in 1 Corinthians 2 and 9, for it is written, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither enter the heart of man what God has in store for those who walk uprightly. Lord, I thank you today as Joshua 24 and 15 says, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. You got to make a decision who you choose to serve. Father God, I thank you today as your word says in Proverbs 19, 11, good sense and discretion make a man slow to anger. It's to his honor and glory to overlook an offense, a transgression without holding anger or being resentful. Oh my gosh. Let me say that one again. Proverbs 19, 11. It says this, good sense and discretion make a man slow to anger. It's to his honor and glory to overlook an offense, not harboring resentment mm, or seeking revenge. We need to pray for y'all. We need to pray for us. Amen. Father God, I thank you today for your words in Matthew 5, 45, that you reign on the just and the unjust. Lord, I thank you today as your words is in James 4, 8. If you draw nigh to me, I will draw nigh to you. Father God, I thank you today as your words in 2 Corinthians chapter 12. Paul asked God three times to remove the thorn from his side. And God said, my grace is sufficient for in your weakness. My strength is made strong. Father God, I thank you today is your words in Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I had to have for you, plans to prosper, give you hope in the future, not to harm you. That's God's plan. God wants you to win. Third John 2 says, I wish above all things that you may prosper and be in health just as your soul prospers. Lord, your words in John 15 and 7, if you abide in me and my word abides in you, you shall ask what you desire and it shall be done for you. Lord, I thank you today as your words in Psalms 46 and, 1, 46 and 1. God is our refuge and our strength and ever present help in a time of trouble. Father God, I thank you today as your words in Isaiah 40 and 31. But those who hope in the Lord, They'll renew their strength. Yes, they will. They will mount up wings like eagles. They will run and not get weary. They will walk and not faint. Oh, Lord, I thank you today. As your words in 2 Timothy 1, 7, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Father God, I thank you today. As your words in Hebrews 12 and 2, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the author and the finish of our faith, for the joy set before us, Ooh, no, excuse me, for the joy set before him, he endured the cross. Believer, God wants more for you. I'm going to say it again. Believer, God wants more for you. Lord, I thank you today as your words in John 10 and 10. The thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy, but I have come that you may have life. And have life more abundantly. Lord, I thank you today as your words in 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Anyone who's in Christ is a new creature. All things passed away. Behold, all things are new. Father God, I thank you today as your words is in Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. To lead, to guide me, to fill me, I shall not want. He leads me beside still waters. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He restores my soul. He lead me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though, even though we go through the valley of the shadow of death, we will fear no evil, for you are with us. Your rod and your staff, they keep us. Grace and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. Oh, glory to God. Father God, I thank you today. Your words is in Hebrews 11, 1, for now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Lord, I thank you today is your words in Hebrews eleven six. for it is impossible to please God without faith. For those who come to God must first believe that he exists and believe that he is the rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Father God, I thank you today is your words in Psalms 107 and 2. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Oh, glory to God. Bless the Lord, all my soul and all that's within me. Well, bless his holy name. I will bless the Lord at all times. 
His praise will be continually in my mouth. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. Lord, I thank you today as your words in Psalms 37, 25. David says, I've been young and now I'm old, but I have never seen the righteous forsaken nor their seed begging for bread. Father God, I thank you today. Father God, your words in John 1, 1, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, the word was done, and the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and his name was Jesus. Father God, I thank you today. Father God, your words in Psalms 1 and 3, that we shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. Our leaf shall not wither, our fruit shall come forth in due season, and whatever we touch shall prosper. Father God, I thank you today, as your words in Proverbs 16 and 1, that if we prepare our heart, Father God, I thank you this day that you'll give us the words. Father God, I thank you today is your words in Proverbs 21 and 1. 21 and 1. The king's heart is in God's hands and God can turn it any way he likes. So this day, Father God, I thank you for favor with people in high places. Father God, I thank you that you're working things together for good. Father God, I rest in you. Lord, I lean on you and I abide in you. Lord, you are the great I am. Lord, you are what I, what I need when I need it. Let's put on the armor. In the name of Jesus, we put on the whole armor of God. That we may stand against the wiles of the devil, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, rules of darkness, world and spiritual wickedness in high places. Therefore, we take on to ourselves the whole armor of God, that we may withstand the evil day, having done all to stand, we stand therefore. Having our loins girded about with truth, your word, Lord, which is truth. Contains all the weapons of our warfare, which are not carnal, but mighty through God, to the pulling down of strongholds. We are, but we have on the breastplate of righteousness, which is faith and love. I feel the shout, the preparation of gospel peace in Christ Jesus. We have peace of pursuit, peace with all men. We are ministers of reconciliation, proclaiming the good news of the gospel. We take the shield of faith, wherewith we equip all the fire darts of the wicked, and the helmet of salvation, holding the thoughts, feelings, and purpose of God's heart, and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. In the face of all trials. In the face of all tests, in the face of all temptations, in the face of all tribulations, we cut the pieces of the snare of the enemy by speaking the word of God. For greater is he than us than he that's in the world. Lord, I thank you today for the armor. Father God, I thank you right now that we understand and realize that we might be the only Bible somebody hears today. And we might be going to Jesus, somebody sees today. So Father God, I thank you that we will let our light so shine and draw us all men and women to you. The Lord's prayer is our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Make it personal. Lord, give me this day my daily bread and forgive me my trespasses. I forgive those who trespass against me. And lead me, Father God, not into temptation, but deliver me, Father God, from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The prayer of Jabez said this, oh, that you would bless me indeed. Father God, I thank you today that we are blessed with blessing. Enlarge our territory. Lord, I thank you today for the land building resources. Lord, I thank you today for the financial deliverance that you are raising them for such a time as this, for this is our time. This is our season. Father God, I thank you today for divine connections, divine hookups, increase, promotion, favor, overflow. Lord, I thank you today that we'll have more than enough. Lord, I thank you today that we'll have nothing missing and nothing lacking. We will live our life in the overflow. Lord, I thank you right now for the hedge of protection you provide. Lord, I thank you today that we should not cause pain by action, word of evil, and everything we do, give you the glory. Let it be praised with the living honorable. Lord, I thank you today for travel mercy and travel grace. We can the highways, byways, planes, trains, and automobiles. Lord, I thank you today that we are a family of faith and not of tragedy. Right now, believers, as I pray for my family, I want you to pray for your family. Lord, I thank you today for my wife, my rib, my good thing. Lord, I thank you for blessing Jesus. I pray for my children, Joe, oh, Jemiah, and Josiah. Lord, I plead the blood of Jesus over their lives. Father God, I thank you this day that no weapon formed against them shall prosper. No weapon shall have intended in for what the enemy has made for bad. Lord, I know that you'll turn it around for our good. So Father God, I thank you right now that I speak to our situations. Father God, I thank you, glory to God, for all that you're working out for our good. Father God, I thank you right now that I cover my blood, everyone connected me. Lord, I probably cover the church you give me to serve. Lord, I pray for all those who, who are listening to me this morning. Lord, I cover them. Lord, I pray right now for the sick and the shut in, the weak and the weary, the downtrodden, the hurt, the abused, the neglected, the backs of the heathen. 
Pray for brothers and sisters behind bars, brothers and sisters being crucified for your name, brothers and sisters of military harm's way. I pray for our leaders, local and national. Give them wisdom to lead. I pray for our first responders, police officers, firefighters, ambulance workers. Lord, I pray right now, Father God, for shifting for situations and circumstances. Lord, I pray for our teachers and our students, guidance counselors, resource officers, cafeteria workers, bus drivers, cross guard workers, cover them. I pray for all our first responders. I didn't say them, I cover you. I pray for all those on the medical field this day. I cover you. These things, Father God, I ask. In your son Jesus' name, I pray. I say amen, amen, and amen. Well, I love you to life. God bless you. God bless you for getting up with me this morning. God bless you for praying and to seeing come in agreement with me this morning. Praise the Lord. Uh, if you want to follow me, you can follow me on Facebook, one word, Pastor Jomo, one word, Pastor Jomo, or on Twitter, it is Dr. Jomo Cousins. Well, I love your life. Let's close. Change my heart, oh God. Make it ever true. Change my heart, oh God. May I be like you. You are the potter. We are the clay. Mold us and make us. This is what we pray. Change our heart, oh God. Make it ever true. Change our heart, oh God. May we be like you. Believer, if you want something different, you got to do something different. If you always do what you've always done, you'll always get what you've always gotten. Change begins with you. Change my heart, oh God. Make it ever true. Change my heart, oh God. May I be like you. You are the potter. We are the clay. Mold us and make us. This is what we pray. Change our heart, oh God. Make it ever true. Change our heart, oh God. May it be like you. I love you to life.